In 2016, Kevin and Charlene Amaker set their sights on retiring. However, they were $150,000 in debt. Charlene and I did grasp the fact that if we can start managing our money better and get out of debt, because we did not want to go into retirement years with debt and having no money. The Bible tells us that the borrower is slave to the lender. When they married in 2002, the couple agreed that tithing would be a non-negotiable. Charlene worked as an MRI technician, and Kevin worked in manufacturing. Just two months into their marriage, Kevin was laid off. I'm thinking, you know, Lord, you've brought us through so many things. What, what is going on here? The Amakers never stopped tithing. Kevin had a small severance, and Charlene's paycheck helped to make ends meet. Two months later, he was hired by another company. Although it was 15% less, they did offer a professional certification program. What I thought was a very setback turned out to be a blessing because once I received that certification, it enhanced my ability to grow my income substantially. At the same time, Charlene was given more responsibilities at her job, where she received 20 hours of overtime a week. We never missed the 15%. God saw the job change for Kevin. God saw the position change for me. It wasn't a coincidence. It was his divine blessing. With the new credentials, Kevin was promoted to logistics manager, and his salary increased by $20,000 a year. He was also given two raises over the next five years. With each raise, Kevin and Charlene increased their giving as well. I do not believe as a Christian that we live by luck. It's, it's God. He can't be anything but faithful. When Kevin's aging parents needed assisted living, the Amakers help with the expenses. We would pick up diapers, whatever we needed to help care for them. It's, it's a role reversal, but you do it because it's your parents and it's scriptural and no regrets. When you give, the look on someone's face of sheer relief that that need's been met, it's eternal. We're building up our treasures in heaven. The couple says they've learned the secret of tithing and why God blessed their obedience. We are willing to invest in other people. Everything that God has blessed us with is not ours. It came from God. When you give back to God your first fruits, that releases blessings over the remaining of your money. Why would you not want to have that blessing over your home and your, and your finances? After five years, Kevin and Charlene are free from their $150,000 debt. They support missionary outreaches and many ministries. They love the idea of being an answer to someone's prayer. Today, Charlene is retired following 30 years in healthcare, with her salary nearly 400% above her starting pay. And Kevin's earnings are up by 40%. Influencing people, helping people, having a paid off home, having paid off vehicles, no debt, have a nest egg retirement fund. I am firmly convinced that our faithfulness to tithing played a tremendous part in where we are today.